project. So uh, let's look at uh, adding the task uh, homepage to the project. Now we have all data sets and other files ready for this page to be built. So let's get started. So uh, let's actually create a file in the screen, uh, the screen folder. So the screen folder has been empty since we started. We have finished with the widget and then we have finished with the constant and data. So here, let's first start with our main screen and the first file for the main screen will be called our uh, home since it's the first page. So we're calling it the home screen. That's that. Okay. So in the home screen, we actually be using almost most of the files we have in here. So I just copy and paste to be a bit first. And we're gonna actually also add the transaction card, the font, then we have the card data and all that. So let me make sure uh, all that we leave out should be added. So um, this one, this is the home screen. So we are basically having everything included here. So uh, first we have this, uh, we have the styling, we have the transaction data, we have the font, Mm, we have the font here. We have, uh, we might not use the font though. Oh, this is a uh, repetition. And then we have uh, my card. Let's use, let's add my card. Those ones are in the widget. So I go this way. I add widget. Yeah, those ones are in the widget folder. So in the widget folder, we have uh, my card. Yes, and then uh, transaction from widget. Data card, card and transaction from the data folder. So this is right. This is okay. Let's add another one. Mm, in the widget, we also have another file. We want to add transaction. Okay, let me see. Uh, inside the data, we also have another file we want to add. So inside this, let me add this and then uh, data, data, uh, inside the data, uh, which one did we add? Okay, so cut, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is to create a stateless widget and this we're gonna call it the home home screen uh, home screen good and for the home screen we're gonna have only add this uh, special key to track a page highly recommended so home screen and then uh, we're gonna have our key, um, our key, key, and then uh, key, and then we have key here, and then next uh, we'll be adding a super, key. and uh, super what? Key, key. Okay, we're done with that. Yeah, this one is highly recommended to actually uh, uniquely identify your pages. Okay, so next we're gonna do something in the build and here instead to return a container, we return a scaffold. Yeah, scaffold, a mother widget. And we're gonna have the app bar since we are actually creating the UI of the home page we're gonna add i want to show you uh, yeah i want to show you the home page really quick so the home page is here first we have to create this app bar let me take off this this app bar then we'll add this 
these cards here and then we'll call all this transaction which we have most of the data is already there so we're gonna actually call it and then we're gonna add this later so let's go so for the app bar we start with the app bar widget so app bar and then the, uh, let's include some stuff that is the first we will tackle the title Mm, but I want the title to be in the middle, so I use the center title is set to true. Set to true. Okay, then the next one will be the title itself. So the title will actually be inside a test widget. So test widget and mm, test widget we will be having a string in here so the title we're gonna call it the bank app good and after that I'm gonna add the font we actually included inside our what our asset so I need to add that in the styling so the style then we have the test style then in the test style we're gonna have the font font family and this font family will be what the one we included inside as asset and it is called what pop pins yes next will be our color so color and we are using a constant color that is the kp primary color here good perfect Next, we're gonna have our watch, our leading. Mm, let me see the app bar, the tests. Okay. After the tester, the tests. Let me save this. After this, we add the leading, and this leading will be what? Will be our avatar. So. First, let's put this in a pattern. In a pattern, and we'll add a pattern to this. Pattern with a pattern. <laughs> okay, so for the pattern, we're actually gonna have a constant of urge insert. Urge insert. Mm, let's use the dot all edge insert dot all and this value let's use eight point no eight point zero yes because it's a double value so we can use this and then we'll have a child for this and this will be a circle avatar so circle avatar and inside the circle avatar we are actually gonna have the radius and this radius will be 16 it's a double so we can use 16.0 and then we're gonna have a child and that child that child <coughs> that child will have a clip r and this clip r will help us call our asset image so yeah this it's a really cool widget that will help us call our image asset and then that will display in our avatar so first child let's go image and then image dot assets and inside this we're gonna have the assets slash icons slash avatar so let's use uh, avatar 4 dot png perfect then we're gonna have the border radius of this. Um, so border, then I add radius. Um, radius. Uh, let me see. Border radius. Oh, uh, what is wrong here? Um, after the image. Um, Let me see for the radius. Okay, and border radius, we're gonna have border. Uh, there's something wrong. Let me see. Border, no, we wanna use the border radius here. 
what a radius okay what a radius dot circular then the circular are it's gonna be 50.0 because it's a double okay so um, what am i missing out here uh, there's an error here so i see radius this is uh, this uh, clip r child image assets assets yeah now we have assets assets then we have icons avatar that's png order read yes Constance, what do you have that? that. Mm. So let me see. This arrow. Mm. Clip. Oh, no. I'm using. I'm using the wrong. I'm using the wrong widget for this. I'm supposed to use the clip R with the double R, not the clip with clip react. Yes, so there are differences between the widget. Perfect. So you need to pay attention to that. I nearly missed that. Okay, good. So let's continue. Next is uh, after, after our clip R and then the circle avatar. We're gonna add the action. The action will be at the end. This one. This is the action. This is. Uh, this is actually the title, and this is the leading, and this is the action. So good. So I'm gonna add the action. Okay. We we are still no after the pattern. I add the action. So action and this action. It's like children having the square bracket. Yeah, so first we're gonna add the icon and this will be an icon button. Okay, so this icon button have uh, these uh, parameters. We have the on press and then this. Let me separate this into two. Mm, and then let me open this. I want this to be here. So the on press will actually have anonymous function with an no with no event in there. Then uh, the icons here. Mm, let me see. This icons we're gonna actually append icon to this here, and we'll use this one. Yes. So inside this i'm gonna open this a bit bigger uh, let me see this icon on press let me give it this mm. for this icon we need to actually have some properties we need to call the icon since we're gonna use the notification so we use the icon notification notification uh, there's an error here. Mm, let me see. We have the action. Action is here. We have actions. Icon button. Icon button is here. Okay. Then uh, on press. Mm, oh. No, 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 no. Mm. let me see okay for this let me double check this very well i can i can okay so for with this one we have our icon dot notifications and then we are using this 
this icon activate underscore this is actually uh, a flatter material that icon okay then for this icon I'm gonna add a color and the color of the icon I use colors colors dot black okay perfect and then the size uh, let me see the size the size will be 27 yes okay so what is still missing here we have a part in here we have our action okay let me see action perfect mm. still in the app bar our icon button okay then we have icon, icon okay let me see oh this is okay oh this oh I'm missing this out yes perfect oh you see how coding is a little just a little spelling mistake then you're gonna get an error okay so now we solve this so in the after the app bar let's actually add a what a body okay so the body will actually house the rest of the what of the display so for this, we're gonna use single scroll view. Single child scroll view. Yes, this one. This one will help us uh, if we have a lot of widgets, it's gonna actually activate their scrolling functionalities. And then we use this physics. Uh, physics, and this physics will actually make sure when the page is overlaps it to actually make sure it's it's within the safe area so let me use uh, this property uh clamping we call it the clamping scroll physics uh which one yes this all right then the next mm, we add a child widget and this widget will be pardon and this pattern what will be in here let me see we first gonna have a pattern for a pattern in there okay and for this pattern we actually gonna add an edge inset but let's keep it constant and the edge insect for all insect for all and then it's 20 yeah it's a double so it can be this after the pattern, let's add another child, and this child will be a column to house the rest of the, uh, the rest of the UI. Oh, yes. So this column, let me see. What we're gonna do here is to add a child and then have a child with the list, with the list in there, and this will house the card and also the transaction. Okay so here let's add a cross a line mm. a cross a line let's use the dot stat okay and after the dot stat we now have our children okay and for the children it's gonna be we have in a container for the first one so one container this will define our list and here we're gonna have the height of this container to be 200 and now we'll have a child widget and this child widget will have our list we'll have our list view let's use list view separator okay perfect so this list view separator will have yes so for this list view separator we actually gonna um, first add our physics here so 
this physics yeah so that we prevent the clamping so scroll then uh, next we're gonna add our separator builder this one let me tackle this first Oh, no, no. Okay, so for this one, this separator builder is actually going to take this contest. It's going to take the contest. Um, contest first. Then it's going to take an index since we're going to refer to one of our data so and this will actually have to return a size box and a size box and this size box will return a width okay so And to return a width of 10. Perfect. Okay. So after we return the width, then we need to now check our item count. And our, this item count will actually be displaying inside our container. So item count, uh, let me see. I bring this one here. Oh, what's happening? What's happening with my copy and paste? Uh, okay, I do it here, no problem. Let me see. So we have the item count, and then we have to call my card. My card, and this my card will be dot length of what we have inside our data set. Okay, then next we'll have to look at we have to look at our item builder next item builder and this item builder what we we'll do is um, so next is our item builder and for this let me before I tackle this let me add the shrink wrap shrink wrap means it will wrap the length of the card really well so we use the shrink wrap and this will be set to true okay oh set to true perfect then after we set that to true we will add the scroll direction for our card since we want our card to be scrolling in this direction first we add the shrink wrap then we add the scroll direction to go this side so what is the scroll direction we should add the axis of the card dot horizontal because we want it to scroll horizontally okay then the builder will have a contest so the builder is just like this and uh, here replace with this perfect so for the builder um, instead to return the size box we're gonna return my card instead my card and that will not return a width it's actually gonna return the card A card and then my what my cards mm, my cards and your cards what the index of the cards perfect okay so let me see container we'll have this here mm container list list 
this we need to close this one here mm, let me see so we have this here my card oh my card needs to have one here my card and my card needs to actually be terminated and uh, perfect okay so let me explain this before we continue uh, we actually call in this list so if we look at the picture we see this card and this has been created inside uh, one of our uh, the card data and then we have set the direction of this and how it should display this is the direction here and then the index of the card can be found inside our card so as you can see our card model have all the information so we call this my cards dot the length dot length will actually be the number of what the number of data card model one and card model two that is two inside so we go to the file we have this one one and this one two so per the index it's gonna return one and then two good perfect that's the meaning and so this is the index we are calling here okay so now let's continue now we're gonna add our transaction this side this the transaction detail and then we add this okay so for transaction detail after our container here let me open it wide I'm gonna add a size box to leave a little space in between our card display and then the transaction list uh, so size box let's use a height yeah height and that height is let's use 30 that's here good and let me see yeah 30 then i think it's okay then we need to add a test test widget and this test widget will actually have it's gonna be the name this the name of our what of our transaction list so transaction details will be here here our transaction transaction details perfect uh, we're gonna add a star into this and this style will be our already style file we call the app test style class dot body test mm, dot body test okay so the body test we make to use of it here and then another size box after this we need some space here so i use the size box again we need this and then this is a smaller space so let's keep it at 15 yes and then the next one is to add the same list separator here as we did at the top same let's separate her. okay but we'll do small changes to this so what I'll do is to simply call this let me see that we are selecting the right one yes copy and then paste it after our size box perfect but with this list separated or list view separated we need to actually use um, we don't need this physics here so let me see the physics 
you can use this but instead to use the crumbling scroll in physics we need to use the maybe never scroll yes uh, never scroll physics yeah never scrollable scroll physics yeah this one means you should not scroll and we'll have the separator here we're returning the same and the shrink okay so what to we'll actually change here is uh, after this one and let's change this the item count we you have to make this the transaction instead of my card so my transaction okay so transactions dot length and uh, here instead to use my cards we're gonna use my transactions with the for the index the same as my card so but here here will, will be transactions not card so here like this transactions with no s then here it's gonna be transaction what card here like this perfect so this is also calling the same index as i said so here is actually happening right here so we're calling all this list based on the index so in this one two three four yeah so this is actually a list and we have one two three four index that is zero one two three yeah just like i raised okay then let's look at the home page uh basically we are done with the home page now we're gonna tackle we're gonna tackle another page that is the second page mm, that will be the card screen this one so with the card screen we have a simple up bar two cards and then an add plus button here so let's get started in the screens folder let's add this we call it card underscore screen dot that perfect okay so here i'm gonna be a bit lazy and then copy all this stuff in there our cards okay good perfect then here we are actually gonna have a stateless widget here so and this will be called card screen perfect card screen so this side we're gonna first add our title to the page so instead to return this let's add the almighty scaffold and inside the scaffold let's actually return the up bar and then up bar and inside the up bar we're gonna have our title first yes and the title here will be uh, my card so don't forget title is always a test widget you need to use a test widget to display the title so we're gonna call this my cards yes and after that since we want this to display in the middle we need to make sure we set a, a center title to true center title to true oh yes good after that we want to add a styling to this card to use the the font family we actually have in our assets so uh, font mm, no first let me add a star widget okay 
and uh, for the star we get we're gonna use the tester and then uh, inside this I uh, have the font font family and the font family it's called what popping like poppy okay next is the color color is uh, k primary let's use inside my constant color inside my constant k primary and this is set next we go for the leading so the leading you can copy the same thing from our home page yes so this leading and uh, probably we also add the same action so let me just do a lazy work here by copying both the action and the leading here exactly the same because we want to have a unified what up bar so up bar is here we have the test here okay i paste it in here perfect we are done with the top so now let's tackle the body of this page here we're gonna have these two cards and these two cards um, yes we'll pick the data from our data set so it's gonna be easy but this will be in a column okay so after our app bar we're gonna add a body widget here body widget and for the body widget we're gonna use the single scroll view single child scroll view yeah this one and then what we we'll do is to include a column in here so oh let's start with capital column and column inside a single child scroll view and this will be a cross axis alignment cross axis alignment this one we should keep it dot center yes we want this to be in the center so okay then mm, let's add children to this so that we'll be able to add more widgets to it so first container mm, and this container will actually have a pattern and a pattern with edge insect uh or or it's uniform so 20 and then we have a child and this child will actually be the widget for our list view mm, list view dot separator yes let's use separator here and then we tackle the rest item count okay wait okay perfect so now we're gonna tackle the item builder the separator builder and all that so the first one is to add a shrink go to true here shrink wrap then we add is equal to true okay perfect and then next let's look at our item count so it's gonna pick from our data set i just want to arrange it this way doesn't matter anyhow you arrange it it's gonna work fine so first we use uh, my card and my card dot the length as we did in the other one okay and this dot length it's gonna pull the data uh, the list of data set in the model for us and then the next one let's look at adding oh, the separator it does not matter but i just want to arrange this the way i want it
okay so let me add this separator here first it's gonna have a contest mm, contest and after the contest we'll have the index to call the number of data set in the model and here mm, oh no this is this is gonna return a height first then the item builder will return the index for us so this will first return uh, let's return this here we return the size box with the size mm, size box first and this size box let me see this size box will have a height so let me add the height and this will be 20 for us okay good so we have the separator now let's tackle the index here the index so this item builder uh, we're gonna have the contests let me see contest almost the same like this almost the same like this but this one will actually return the card as the card index so first return my card here cards rather and inside the height will actually be the index but we will use the box bracket index yes so um, oh let me double check the So let's double check with this very well. Let me see the list separator. Mm. Container. Pardon. Mm. After a pardon, we have the child, child, list separator. We have the shrink. We have item count card of length okay then we have the separator builder and this separator builder build index okay perfect let me see okay then this is returning a size box and the size box have a height of 20 after that okay size box after that we have this here okay then uh, we have let me add a comma to this first then we have item builder contest then we return my cards and my cards okay my cards will actually be done this way mm. one here okay so my card then here my card will have card dot mm, this is item builder let me look item count item builder okay yeah so my card then here will be um mm, sorry my cards yes in this okay so the in this comma and then uh, we'll have uh, this 
here is card my card okay perfect so this is set now now let's look at adding another container adding another container mm. So adding another container, let me add a comma here inside the column. So let me add a new container, but we can copy and then paste and then do some changes here or no. Now let me add, uh, I check, let me check the picture first. So that oh okay good so uh, we are done with this is only left with this so this instead to use a container no let's go for let's go for a test instead but uh, we're gonna have not a test widget we first have a circle avatar and then we have the icon in there and then we'll write some test under this icon so let's do that instead to use a container we'll use a circle avatar so circle circle avatar good and for this circle avatar we're gonna have a radius we want it to be wrong so radius let's use 30 here and then we have a child and this child will have icon this icon over this icon again so we use icons dot icons dot add here and after the icons dot add we'll add the size of the icon and this will be probably three zero is okay okay now we have this set we have this one we have the avatar with the radius 30 and then we have the white icon inside and this is called add so it's here this add now we want to add a test under this which you can see in this picture but we want to add a test under this icon and uh, to do that, we will simply use the test widget mm, and then uh, inside the test widget, we want to add, mm, we want to add a string. Oh. Mm, add a string. Okay. So let's say add card. Add card. Okay. This is star, and the star is up. We use the app star dot uh, list list title star. Yes, okay. So uh, let's look at this. Mm, this is still in the column, column, column. Let me double check this very well. Single scroll view. One, two, one, two. Okay. Mm. Let me double check this and solve this error before we continue. So we have a circle avatar here and a radius, circle avatar radius. We have a chart icon. Oh, okay. Mm. No, 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 no. Uh, yes yes okay so perfect 
all right so I left out the closing uh, the closing round bracket okay so we are done with the card screen so the card screen let me take you quickly through this mm, the card screen we actually had the app bar app bar has my cards and this is here and uh, we use this font that is the poppins from our asset and then we added a color and this color is the k primary color and this is gonna display like this okay so next is to add the image avatar which is the leading and leading is here so this image avatar and then we added the action this action is here perfect so the action is using an icons dot notification active outline this one okay then now we come to the body we add a single scroll view a uh, single child scroll view and this will enable you to scroll this page up and down down the cross alignment we added dot center this should be in the center not touching any edge and then we add a padding the separator separate this it prints out the length of cards in our data or, or, or model and then in our list and then it returns the height like this and then it call this circular what avatar here with with this in there and then the circle is 30 and then we added what we added the icon here okay next is to is to do what add our what our test right beneath this circle avatar okay so I'm gonna save this and then we move on to our last page and this page will actually be the base of the page so if you can see inside my main I actually added this and this will be the entry point to all the files here in our code so we are yet to create this class so to create this class let's step into a screen and then add this file so we're gonna call it base underscore screen base screen okay dot that perfect so for our base screen we actually gonna have this there this is our base screen and our base screen is gonna have our real navigation menu here that is the footer navigator and we're gonna have our home here the car settings and overview perfect then it's gonna call all these pages on the screen so this is a very important file so before I do that, mm, let me be a little bit lazy and then copy all the imports from the other pages. Let me see. I think this one had a lot of imports. So this will guarantee us with all the files we need, I guess. So good. So now let's start stateless. Then I'm gonna call it um, base base screen. Uh, I need to make sure the exact name in the main base screen, correct? Oh, but let me import this here. Now we have this class, so I can import. Yes, perfect. So the error is gone, but now we add more stuff here okay so um, what i'm gonna do is to I should make sure all the files we need is here so first we will need we will need a font here import package 
package font package underscore font awesome do we have this already there yes i think we have this already there okay so let me see what other file we'll be needing we'll need the home screen do we have the home screen here home screen and the home screen can be found in the screens folder so we don't have that import home screen so mm, package oh we need to yeah package then we're gonna have our screen in here so we can call either the name of the app first that is banking we can do this or we can do it the other way around or we'll be fine online let me see maybe we have this online. then we have uh, online screens and screens we need the home so I added this perfect color constant yeah we're gonna use the color constant in here so I think we have it here so then what else mm, I think we will need home color constant and material dot that yes the rest will be fresh in the other files okay so now let's begin first what we'll do is to mm, I think we should use stateful widget here instead of stateless because this is only gonna call the pages and then have a static uh, button bar navigator so using a uh, stateless is okay yeah stateful rather good so let me add stateful here instead of stateless okay So stateful instead of stateless, and this will be the base, base screen. Perfect. Just like the stateful, uh, the stateful, and the stateless. The stateful has this extra class, and the stateless is a very simple with only the build contest okay if you don't understand the stateless and the stateful widget kindly check our intro to flutter tutorials and then we have a special video only dedicated for these two widgets to be to be understood okay so let's go to the base again and for the base let me see first we can add our unique identifier or we can ignore it but it's highly recommended to add this so let me add a base so base screen and the base screen will have this so first have our key and then our key next we add a super super and then uh, our key key perfect okay next next we actually gonna return scaffold instead of a container here yes let's use the scaffold instead and for the scaffold we're gonna have a body code here straightforward body widget and for the body widget we actually gonna have a center 
gonna position everything in the center with it here and we go like this so for the center let's have a child oh no 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 let's have a child and for the child first we need to set we need to set some static list here so I'm gonna do that after the base here on top of the override so first we're gonna have one variable well, you understand what I'm doing later in the code so let's have this variable here select select or selected index first and this variable will be assigned to zero okay and then now we're gonna have a list and this will be a static list uh, static let's use a const keyword and then we use a list and this list is a list of widgets okay so let me add a return type here is the widget and this widget be assigned to this variable and uh, this will be called widget option widget options okay and this will be assigned to our widgets list again okay make sure this is capital W okay otherwise it's gonna give you an error so here what we're gonna do is only have a static list of what classes from our included files here okay so first it's gonna be our class for home and this will help us select with our root or bottom navigator to select any of the classes we want with the on press event okay so we have our home and another class will be our card screen okay so we basically have um, screens okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, i need to import mm, i need to import one of this in here this will give us an error if we don't import uh, so screens rather is also in the screen and this is a uh, base card screen okay yes card screen let me see card screen okay so this static kind of have a lot of these classes duplicated because we're gonna have uh, at least four bathrooms there so we only want to duplicate these classes and then use it in the projects. Yeah, just for the project sake. Okay, so mm, index selected. Let's use selected index. Okay. Now let's go straight to our other files. So we have. Let me see screens card screen home screen and then we have the font oh this is 
redundant here and our star we will not need this we will not need our transaction data we will not need a card the font 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 we will need the font okay so this is redundant here transaction card we will not need this too it's gonna be redundant mm, the app style app style no we have used it in the other file so I think it's okay we don't need it here and then so we have mm, this ones yeah let's leave this one okay so color Color constant dot that uh, we have that up there so let me take this one off okay good now let's continue mm, let's continue with this mm, let me see static const lists widgets okay so list widget widget we we call in the widget options and then uh, is equal to the widget list and underscore okay okay everything seems okay here good we're gonna solve this or later on in the code all right so now what we're gonna do here now we're wrapping everything inside a center and first we want to call this option that is gonna be the list here and then we're gonna append it to the element of what of the selected index and the element of the selected index is calling this variable it's already set to zero so this will be the default but let's now add our navigator and then actually add the icons for our screen okay so first let me go with bottom navigator bar and then um, Bottom navigator bar, this one. Okay, then for this, we're gonna have some values in here. So, first one, we want our bottom navigator to be fixed. So, I use the type of bottom navigator, it's gonna be the fixed type. So, we're gonna use this one fix, it will not move when the screen is moving then we're gonna select item colors so select item color and this color will be a constant color primary we use the primary color okay now after selecting the primary color our next what next on selected color when the icon it's not selected we should also have a particular color for it so on selected item color we're gonna use colors dot gray dot gray okay so this is colors dot gray and the next one we're actually gonna set our home first so after the item dot gray let's have first our item here so the item will have the square bracket and it will have can have a bunch of what 
icons for our bottom navigator so um, first let me include our default default active button first and button navigator then this will be bar items bar items okay this one and for the bar items we're gonna have first one will be this icon here Let me see whether everything is okay first okay so after the icon here we're gonna add a uh, icon here so let me add this icon then inside the icon we're gonna have the font awesome icon here so this one then the first one we'll use the credit card Mm. credit card okay then the label of this the label for this will be have the label and the label will be a card card okay but let's use it oh first let's set this label to be um, this label to be first we have this okay this label can be card but we want to set the default one uh to the default one to home so uh, first I add the cards here and but we want the first one to be home instead of uh, instead of the card maybe the cards will be second on the list if we look at the picture we want uh, the home first the card the settings and the rest okay so I'm gonna add this one let me see so the first one here and then uh, let me see we add uh, let me just repeat this here okay one here one there so this one will be a home instead of credit card so we have home and the label will be what home good so this will be the default one home mm. okay then next is the cards so the cards is set next will be the settings for us so let me change this instead of uh, the cards we use the KOG and we use here to be settings yeah, this level should be settings and then uh, let me paste another one and this one will be our overview so overview we want to use the icon of a chat bar yeah, for it to use, for it to look a bit nice so chat bar and here we'll call it over okay perfect 
so we have the list of icons we are using down here this 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 and that okay so next is to actually add our our selection there so after this one we want our current index to be that is if the default one or current index and this current index should be our first selected one that is underscore select index the one the variable we define at the top and and next is when there's an on tab on tab you should also also move to the next index so we're gonna use this the index when it's on tab there should be an int of index that is a move so it's taking that parameter and then here we need to set the state it means it needs to change so everything needs to be in the set state because after a button is clicked the the ui will re-render and then print out or show the current what page that has been selected so this this variable should be equal to the current index when the page reloads perfect okay so let's look at this again and then let me clear off this error so i double check to see why this error okay so card screen card screen is actually found in the oh this should be card screen oh let me double check first oh yeah card screen let me rename this card screen okay so for the card screen yes we have this mm. is screen card screen then we have uh, this arrow of uh, this uh, let me see uh, okay oh okay okay or sometimes you need to ignore the constant for the list so that uh, it's then uh, C then I will finish with the tutorial okay perfect so all what we've been doing this is the display okay so now we have the cart here showing at the side so we use the horizontal uh, the horizontal direction for this card and then we have the list in here okay so this is the card page where we can add another card and we have this list of cards here so this is the end of the tutorial and we would like you to subscribe and also watch out for other new mastering flutter videos and we're gonna have a lot of uh, different apps we're gonna code for you so Peace, I'm out. See ya.